So last week we discussed the Scirocco class assault cruiser used by the MCRN within the Expanse. And I figured today we could take a look at my personal favorite vessel from the TV show. Let's take a closer look once again at the Morrigan class patrol destroyer. I'm Colin and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So just like last week's video on the Scirocco class assault cruiser, we've actually talked about the Morgan class before, but I figured with the show having concluded and us having a little more information on these ships, it was time to revisit some of the vessels we talked about before. So like I said, today we're going to talk about the Morgan class patrol destroyer, one of the premier small ships utilized by the MCRN during the events of the Expanse. So let's start out with the statistics, like we always do. The Morgan-class patrol destroyer is 33 meters long, which is actually pretty short as far as spacecraft go within science fiction. And for armament, it has a pair of Nariman Dynamics PDCs to protect it against incoming projectiles, and a pair of torpedo tubes, both pointed forward. This vessel, all in all, is designed to be crewed by a crew of six, with a potential complement of an additional two Marines, bringing the total up to eight. So... It's really small, and it's designed for a very particular role. You see, the Morgan class was built from the ground up to be as cheap as possible. It's actually a really adaptable frame because of its size. Since it's so cheap to manufacture, the MCRN could roll them out in significant numbers, and because it's smaller, it can fit within the bays of the massive Doniger class battleships, allowing them to be a very useful force multiplication tool for fleets headed by Doniger class vessels. So what role would a ship this small actually play within the MCRN? Well, it seems to fill a very interesting niche. It's somewhere between a destroyer and a patrol boat, and we see it fill mostly the role of the patrol boat. A great example of where I think the Morgan class is intended to be deployed is the way we see it used in Season 1 when the Scipio Africanus interdicts a belter vessel. These ships seem to primarily be intended for customs missions and scouting patrols, being sent out from larger fleets to search the area for anything that poses a potential threat, and if they see a vessel that is maybe violating the law, for example, they would dispatch a Morgan-class patrol destroyer to interdict them, board them, and carry out some sort of customs inspection. Which is exactly what we see happen with the Scipio Africanus and this Belter vessel. Now, why do I think that's what it's built for? Well, let's start by looking at its armament and its complement. Its PDC network also rules out some escort roles. Because it only has two PDCs, it has a pretty big blind spot below the vessel where its door is. So when you compare it to something like the larger Corvette class, which is bristling with PDCs and very clearly designed to be an escort vessel, the Morgan class doesn't really fit that role very well. It can kind of defend itself if it's angled properly, but uh, it does have a fairly significant blind spot. The only other armament it has is a pair of torpedoes, which are arguably offensive weapons designed for carrying out attack roles, which leads to my assumption that these vessels are designed for either very fast attack, sort of hit-and-run tactics, or, like I said, customs patrols and scouting missions. Because these vessels are so small and can be operated by such a small crew, they're not a large manpower commitment to maintain. And since they're modern vessels built by the MCRN, they're still packed full of all the technology that you would expect from the larger ships, just on a smaller scale, so they're still pretty capable in combat. And lastly, because they're so small and cheap to manufacture, the MCRN can sort of play around with them a little bit, testing out new plans, new schemes, new designs, and new technologies on the Morrigan class first before employing it on larger, more expensive vessels. That's why we see, fairly early on, stealth variants of the Morrigan class being fielded by the MCRN, before stealth variants of any other ship. It makes sense that they would test this new technology on their smaller, cheaper ships before they go full-scale applying it to something like a Scirocco class assault cruiser, for example, which we see stealth variants of present at the first battle of Medina Station. And by the way, the stealth variant of the Morgan class is known as the Shandian subclass of this vessel, and it actually does look a little different. So now we're going to go over the ships that we know within this class, and there are quite a few. And before we begin, I'm probably going to butcher some of these names, so I'm just going to apologize in advance. Let's jump right in. 
The MCRN Embed car was the Morgan-class patrol destroyer that attempted to board the Rosinante before being dissuaded by the use of a code word. The MCRN Avalanche is one of the vessels involved in the Martian anti-piracy operations mentioned in Season 1. The MCRN Ku Shulian was one of the Morgan-class patrol destroyers present in the Jupiter fleet during the UN-MCR war. The MCRN Damascus was another Morgan class present in the anti-piracy operations mentioned in Season 1. The MCRN Kitter Chinama was a Morgan class patrol destroyer serving with the MCRN during the MCR-UN war and was severely damaged. It was later boarded by the crew of the Rosinante. The next one, we don't actually know its Martian name, but we know its name given to it by the Free Navy, and it's the Free Navy Koto. It's one of the Martian warships transferred over to the Free Navy by the Rogue Martian Faction in Season 5. It was utilized as part of Marco's command fleet before being dispatched with Drummer's fleet and ultimately destroyed by railgun rounds from the Rosinante. Next is the MCRN Scipio Africanus, which is one of the first Morgan-class patrol destroyers we see on screen. It was tasked with carrying out uh, reconnaissance operations in the belt and ultimately boarded a Belter Rockhopper vessel and was later attacked by that same vessel. Now it was damaged but not destroyed by this attack and it did end up using one of its torpedoes to destroy the offending vessel. And last but not least is the MCRN Shandian, which, as I mentioned, is a stealth variant of the vessel. It was dispatched to Venus during the Proto-Molecule incident and was ultimately dismantled by the Proto-Molecule itself while observing UN vessels in the area. All in all, I think the Morgan class is one of the best looking designs from the TV show, and I kind of wish we got to see a little bit more of it, but I still absolutely love this design, even if it is flawed from a defensive standpoint due to its blind spots and kind of fills an odd niche, but it's still part of a larger infrastructure, a larger array of vessels that make up the Martian Navy, and if you'd like to learn about the warships of the MCRN, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I'd like you to let me know down in the comments whether you think I'm right about the assumptions I made about the role that the Morgan class filled within the MCRN. Do you think it did something different, or do you also think it was used for sort of patrolling areas and maybe hit and run attacks? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in The Expanse, leave it down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.